For European alternatives, the key learnings of art formation have been that, like, allowed by going deeper into artistic practice. And what it has shown is that artists have been able to um, exploit the gaps in techniques and also to have a decentered gaze on the realities of the impact of digital transformation on society. And that by this uh, decentering, have been able to both um, inform about threats that are linked to the digital transformation, but also to think about potentialities to change the way um, so society is organized, to fight against discrimination, and to move towards more social justice. So the Art Formation Toolkit that we're launching today is a collection of case studies and examples and each case study explores a different set of circumstances in which artists have worked either on institutional change, uh, artist to artist, peer to peer support and change or uh, institutional to civic society change and thinking about how these different gestures and case studies enable new forms of uh, new approaches to working and ways in which um, organizations, uh, artists, individuals, community groups, and civic society leaders might be able to adapt these approaches to their own practices and ways of working um, to kind of imagine new ways moving forward. Artists and policymakers are very complex by themselves and in order to make them work together we need to not reduce them to a tag, to an umbrella term, but to um, leave them with the complexity that they deserve. So Feminist Data Set is a community driven data set. By creating with communities and ensuring that the community wants and urgencies are the focal point of the data set, it in a way becomes not only a representation of a problem, it becomes documentation of potential solutions as well. And so that's the way in which we see it acting as protest because it's illustrating the gaps, the wants, and what collective action can do. Tonight we are presenting uh, the same project actually, that is the UDC in utero. And this time we are just presenting the music, live music and visual uh, side of it. And the technology involved in, the, in all the visual we made. And also the music was made by uh, no, a computer actually. So I composed everything, I produced all the music with my computer, I have a controller. And, but I didn't just want it to be all numeric, digital, and I wanted some analogic stuff to get in the way in the process so I have also modular synthesizer so I can have this organic and random sound coming into that all numeric and digital uh, setup. I think the next step should be to um, going from the broad exploration of what the arts could be and who is active in this space to maybe start tackling very concrete problems. We already did that to a degree in the project, but it could be really nice to look at, for instance, this intersection between the arts and facilitating political processes to give uh, people a better voice in online spaces. Mm -hmm.